Okay. So yesterday for 8-1, you guys had six problems just to check and find the greatest common factor of some monomials. For 13, 6 and 5, you probably broke this down to 1 times 2 times 3, and this is 1 times 5. What did they have in common then? The 1 and the 2x. The 1 and the x to the second power, <coughs> which means you can just put this as x to the second power. I did that. Oh. And I'm sure they'll all recognize Shakri's sneeze as they listen to this later. Okay, number 14, I actually had a couple questions on yesterday because I realized after you guys started practicing, we talked about the positive one and negative one, but we never did an example together. So I'm going to write this one all the way out. 15 would be 1 times 3 times 5 times y times y. Then we have a negative 20. All numbers have a positive 1 as a factor. But this also has what kind of one? It also has a negative one. And then it has two twos and a five and a single y. Oh, I wrote negative one first. It doesn't matter. I am just put them under there so I could circle them easier. They have this in common, but only this one has the negative one, so it's not a common factor. And then I'm looking, we've got 5 here and 5 here and y. So the co greatest common factor of these two, we're going to ignore the negative one. It's not a common factor, just like you would ignore the 3 five, here two. and the 2's here. So it's just 5 y. Uh, number 15, the only thing they have in common is 1. Oh, hey, I got that. I got that too. 13 is a prime number. 2 is a prime number, the only even prime number. And then you have Q and you have P for the variable, so there's nothing in common. Guess what's true about number 28? It's also a 1. Wait. It's also just a 1. Whoa. 29, uh, the variable in the book was S, but I hate using S, so I used X. Oh! Oh! oh. Rebel! <laughs> 3 times 3 times x times x times x. I don't even want to break this up. We know what this is going to be. Nine. Its greatest common factor it's going to have with 9 is? 9. nine. Oh, nine. 9. If you're going by the book, s. But since I always make my s's look like 5s, I'm using x. No, I'm just being a realist. Okay. And number 30. We have a negative and a positive. Oh, shoot. So if you listed all of these out, you should have had a negative one and some positive ones. Because one's negative and one's positive, they're both going to end up having a positive common because they'd have to both have the negative to have the negative being common. And it ends up being 8n squared. Any questions on any of those? No. 